6'7", with the largest wingspan of any prospect in our combine, Memphis's Paxton Lynch can sling the ball at more than 63 miles per hour. That's the fastest of any QB we analyzed in this draft. But we wanted to measure more than just the physical tools of this top-ranked signal caller. So to get unprecedented data on the brain activity of a quarterback, we fitted Lynch with a state-of-the-art emotive headset. Different regions of the brain control emotions and behaviors. The emotive headset will allow us to track the strength and location of Paxson's brain activity. To see how his brain reacts to stress, we put him through our pressure test. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Data from our emotive headset reveals that, compared to his baseline, activity in his brain's dorsal, prefrontal, and parietal regions, or the areas related to goal-oriented motivation, increased by more than 150%. And while his focus was increasing, another area of his brain, the prefrontal cortex became relatively quiet. This region controls how the brain pays attention to different stimuli. And in sports, an overload of this area essentially means an athlete is thinking too much. But studies have shown in high pressure situations, elite athletes can actually bypass the prefrontal cortex altogether to block out disruptive stimuli. And this could be why, even with two heavy bags flying toward him, Lynch is able to knock down 83% of his targets after getting in a rhythm. Woo! Woo! Yeah! After putting Lynch's test results through our metric, he ranks similarly with Andy Dalton. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.